Do you guys know the difference between equality and equity? Equality is the principle of treating everyone in an equal manner. And equity is the principle of treating people who are equal in an equal manner and people who are unequal in a different manner. It is based on the principle of equity, the concept of reservation and affirmative action emerged in our country. So, in this short video, we will see about the constitutional provisions, important Supreme Court judgments and important constitutional amendments regarding reservation in our country. See, we know Article 15 talks about prohibition of discrimination, right? That too, mainly on the grounds of religion, race, caste, sex or place of birth. But then we have this Articles 15, Clause 4 and 16, Clause 4 that enables the state and the central government to reserve seats in the government services for the members of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe. Why is this discrimination allowed? See, the main objective of providing reservation to the scheduled caste, scheduled tribe and the other backward classes in services is not only to give jobs to some person belonging to this community, it basically aims at empowering them and ensuring their participation in, in the decision making process of the state okay and thereby the constitution makers wanted to ensure the objective of equity so now let us see what are all the constitutional provisions that are available regarding this reservation okay first take article 15 clause 4 it says that the state can make any special provision for the advancement of any socially and educationally backward classes of citizens or for the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. Then take Article 16. We know that it talks about equality of opportunity in matters of public employment. But in the same article, in Clause 4, the state is given the power to make any provision for the reservation in appointment or post in favor of any backward class of citizen. This is done to uplift the inadequately represented citizens of a particular community in the service under the state. Okay, so we can understand that though the articles 15 and 16 talks about prohibition of discrimination and providing equality, it can be ensured only when the socially and educationally backward classes of citizens are given equal opportunity in par with others. This is why special reservation is given to them. Not only in education and jobs, even in Lok Sabha, we have reservation. Yes, this is what is mentioned in Article 330. See, the article here says that seats in Lok Sabha are reserved for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. Then, this reservation for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes is extended even to the state legislative assemblies. This is done through Article 332. Okay, then when you take the grassroots levels that is in the panchayat, there is reservation for SCs and STs. See, it is clearly mentioned in Article 243D. This article provides for the reservation of seats in every panchayat. And not less than one third of the total number of seats reserved shall be reserved for women belonging to scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. Okay, not only this. Even in the office of chairpersons in Panchayat, the seats are to be reserved for the scheduled caste, scheduled tribes and women. Okay. See, the same kind of reservation is applicable to the municipality level also. And now look at this Article 335. This has a direct bearing on reservation in services because this article says that the claims of the member of the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe shall be taken into consideration. So, this article allows in making any provision in favor of the members of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. For example, the qualifying marks in any examination can be relaxed or the standards of evaluation can be lowered. All this can be done for the reservation in matters of promotion to any class or classes of services or post in the union or the state affairs. Okay. Now coming to the cases and amendments regarding reservation. Firstly, take the state of Madras vs. Champakam Durairajan case that happened in the year 1951. This resulted in the first amendment of the Indian constitution. And this first constitutional amendment act addressed the country's reservation program. We saw article 15 class 4 in the beginning of our discussion, right? Yes. Through this article, the state is granted the power to work for the backward classes or the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe by making special provisions for them in the educational and social upliftment. Okay, so this was added after the state of Madras vs. 
Champakam Durairajan case through the first constitutional amendment act. Okay. Then came the M.R. Balaji vs. State of Mysore case that happened in the year 1963. See, in this case, the clear explanation was made that the reservation are made based on classes that are both educationally and socially down and not just one thing alone. So, for a class of citizens to avail reservation, the particular class must be both educationally and socially backward. This is about M.R. Balaji West State of Mysore case. And one more thing that was concluded in the case is that reservations under Article 15, Class 4 and Article 16, Class 4 of the Constitution must be provided within reasonable limits prescribed and the Supreme Court prescribed a limit of 50%. Okay, this is because reservation made to advance the weaker section of the society should not exclude qualified and deserving candidates. This is why the limit was fixed. Okay, again a problem came. A question arose whether economic factor can be used to classify a community under backward class. This issue was only dealt in the Indra Soni case in the year 1992. See the judgment of this case said that backward classes under Article 16 Class 4 cannot be identified on the basis of economic criteria alone. It is only the socially and educationally backward classes that can avail reservation in India. Then the concept of creamy layer was laid down and it was directed that such a creamy layer should be excluded while identifying backward classes. Okay. Then the Supreme Court in the Indra Soni case reiterated that reservation shall not exceed 50% and moreover it is said that reservation in promotion shall not be allowed. And it concluded that any new disputes regarding criteria were to be raised in the Supreme Court only. Okay. And as a response to these judgments, the parliament enacted the 77th Constitutional Amendment Act in the year 1995. See, according to this constitutional amendment only, Class 4A was added in Article 16. Okay, so through this Article 16, Class 4A, powers are conferred to the state to reserve seats in favor of scheduled caste and scheduled tribe in promotion in public services. This can be done only if the communities are not adequately represented in public employment. And this amendment was upheld by the Supreme Court in the M. Naharaj West Union of India case in the year 2006. And in this judgment, the Supreme Court laid out three requirements for the provision of reservation in promotion. Firstly, the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe should be socially and educationally backward. Secondly, there should be inadequate representation of scheduled caste and scheduled tribe in public employment. And thirdly, it shall not affect the efficiency in the administration. Only after considering all these requirements, reservation in promotion can be done. Okay, this is regarding M. Nagaraj West Union of India case 2016. Then take the 93rd Constitutional Amendment Act. Its constitutionality was questioned by the Ashok Kumar Thakur West Union of India case in the year 2007. See what is done through this amendment. Through the 93rd Constitutional Amendment Act, Class 5 was added to Article 15. It is only after Class 5 was added to Article 15, reservation was provided in the private educational institution regardless of whether they are aided or unaided by the state. Here note that the minority educational institutions are exempted from the reservation law in India. Okay. While providing judgment in the Ashok Kumar Thakur case, the Supreme Court upheld the constitutional validity of the 93rd Constitutional Amendment Act. Then came the next issue. See, the Tamil Nadu government provides 69% reservation. To prevent it from the ambit of judicial review, it was added to the 9th Schedule of the Constitution through the 76th Constitutional Amendment Act. And the famous I.R. Coelho case is regarding this only. See, this case upheld the validity of the basic structure doctrine framed after the Kesavananda Bharati case. And the Supreme Court said that any constitutional amendment should be made without affecting the basic structure of the Indian constitution. So basically, in the I.R. Coelho case, the Supreme Court said that all legislation that is placed in the ninth schedule after the Kesavananda Bharati case is subjected to judicial review. Okay. Then in the Jarnail Singh vs. Lakshmi Narayan Gupta case of 2018, the Supreme Court held that reservation in promotions does not require the state to collect quantifiable data on the backwardness of the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribes. In the same case, 
the Supreme Court extended the creamy layer provision to the SCST for promotion. This was done so that only the deserving candidates among the SCSTs get the benefit of reservation. Okay. Finally, in the Mukesh Kumar versus State of Uttarakhand case, the Supreme Court held that there is no fundamental right to reservation or promotion under Article 16, Class 4 or Article 16, Class 4A. According to the Supreme Court, the provision of reservation will be provided by the government only when there is a specific need for it and a citizen cannot claim reservation as a right. See, these are the major Supreme Court judgments regarding reservation in India. Finally, let us take up the last and the most important constitutional amendment regarding reservation. It is none other than the 103rd Constitutional Amendment Act of 2019. This constitutional amendment provided 10% reservation in government jobs and educational institutions for the economically backward in the unreserved category. Through this constitutional amendment, the government added Class 6 to Article 15 and Class 6 to Article 16 of the constitution. And this 10% economic reservation is provided over and above the 50% reservation cap. To know more about the issue of reservation and the constitutional provisions regarding reservation, listen to the daily Hindu news analysis by Shankar IAS Academy and subscribe to Shankar IAS Academy YouTube channel. Thank you for listening.